Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Ippy, Ippy, Bo Bippy, Banana Fana, Fo Fippy, Me, My, Mo Mippy. Ippy. Oh, I'm just singing that song. Well, it's just because I, I felt like it. No, actually, it was you know, because of an email that was sent to me by AJ28, who writes and asks In Japan, when I use a computer to look at a web page like Google, it defaults to the Japanese language instead of English. So does this mean that Internet Explorer determines what language my IP is before displaying the web page? Well, you're, you're kind of right. You're playing with the right variables, a website, a web browser, and an IP address. They're all kind of loosely connected, uh, but you're not quite joining everything together correctly. Uh, the IP address we've talked about before, it's essentially that string of numbers that's associated with the device that you use to connect to the network. And uh, this network happens to be the internet, and you're accessing the internet from Japan. So Google looks at your IP address and say, ah, that IP address is associated with this country. And sometimes they may even be able to tell that state or that city, if you happen to live in the U.S. at least. And then, based upon that information, they say, well, it's in Japan, so chances are this is someone who speaks Japanese. I'm going to give them the Japanese page. Here you go. And that's how happens. So the web browser really isn't determining it so much as the web server that you're visiting or the web page or the website that you're visiting. Have you ever gone to a site and it says, hey, here's the weather in Seattle, Washington, and you freak out? Well, you'd freak out if you're you know, not in Seattle, but I happen to be in Seattle. So when I see it, I'm like, well, wait a minute, I, I didn't tell this site that I was in Seattle, but it determined based on my IP address that I was using to visit that site that's like, ah, that person's coming in from Seattle. So chances are they are in Seattle and are going to be interested in Seattle content. Google does the same thing, as well as other sites. Uh, some sites that you visit don't necessarily have that uh, connection that's made, so they're, they're not able to determine, or they will be or should be able to determine, they just don't uh, specifically where you happen to be coming in from. To bypass that, uh, you know, by default, I don't know how uh, simple it is to do other than using some kind of proxy. Uh, but even that can introduce uh, some issues. I know people had uh, used Tor for a while, and I, I know a growing number uh, you know, continued to use it, but I, some uh, other people have moved on to using other software to uh, surf anonymously. When you do use a proxy or using someone else's you know, connection to a remote site, um, you may actually introduce other language issues. So instead of surfing and getting English, you may surf and get uh, Swahili or... Um, another language that you probably don't speak uh, because you're going through another connection. So, you know, if you can't get the English language by going directly to google.com, you should be able to set a preference in your Google preferences, and that will likely get set as a cookie uh, on that particular machine to say, no, always serve me up this particular language. In fact, Google makes it fun. Uh, there are different languages that Google has, including, I think, Elmer Fudd, Hacker, um, I think they have a, they, well, at least they used to have, uh, uh, like what, what pig Latin one kind of, what was it? What was that? Anyway, Google's goofy, but it's got, uh, you know, uh, language settings that you can use to, to bypass that. Again, that's on Google. Not every site uh, has that. Um, so that's the answer to your question. Uh, now, if you have an internet question or, you know, tech question in general, feel free to email me, chris at perillo.com. May not answer your email, but uh, if it's a good enough question to throw out to the rest of the community, if I have the answer or can find the answer, I'd love to do that. And of course, feel free to embed this video, share it with friends who are always curious about this particular question. And you're also welcome to swing by our chat room, where we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that is at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later. Thank you.